Greetings fellow YouTubers, Irv Lindsay here. How you doing? Today I'm in Washington Park. There's a lot going on out here. A lot of events going on out in Washington Park. But as many of you know, I've talked about it before. This used to be the old, uh, I believe, 12th Street Graveyard. <laughs> yeah. So we're, today we're going to talk about uh, an American Revolutionary War hero, a lost grave, and a Boston Tea Party, all connected to Cincinnati. Stick around, I think you'll like this one. John Wyeth was born in 1758 in Cambridge, Massachusetts, uh, and he later relocated to Ohio, and uh, he applied for his Revolutionary War pension while he was living uh, further north than Cincinnati. In the, um, I want to say the early, early to mid 1800s when he was an old guy. I think it was a, the uh, 50th anniversary of the founding of the United States. Uh, he gave an account of the Boston Tea Party. He was there. The interesting thing was that at this point the Boston Tea Party was a lot of mystery surrounding it because the people that were there kind of went into a pact and said that they uh, weren't going to tell on each other because they were afraid of the repercussions. So it really, really wasn't until that point that they really learned who was at the tea party. Which brings us back to Mr. John Wyeth. When he died, he was buried right here in what we today call Washington Park. But at some point, they decided, like municipal leaders often do, they decide that the cemetery would make a better park than it does a cemetery. So they put out notices to everybody and if you wanted your family member moved, that you need to pay to have them moved. And at some point, they turned over all of the headstones, filled it in with three feet of dirt, and turned into a park. Which brings us back to Mr. John Wyeth, who died in Cincinnati. He didn't really have any family that lived here. So, what happened to him? Well, um, I don't know, sometime after the turn of the... 21st century they found the headstones uh, when they were doing some work here and a lot of them are on display here and I've talked about this before but if you weren't around to have your people moved or you didn't if you were buried here and you didn't have family here there was nobody to give notice to to move you so you were just left here and which is really sad for a American war American Revolutionary War heroes such as Mr. John Wyatt. So his family petitioned and when they learned about this, probably more recently, and out where he, they had no idea where his remains are or what happened to them, but they did petition and a memorial has been put up for him and it's out at Spring Grove Cemetery. I'm going to head out there. We're going to see if we can find it. I always get lost when I'm in a cemetery looking for a specific grave marker, but I want to show you guys something real quick. There's some really old stone headstones here. That one right there has been gobbled up by the tree. Can't even read what they say. They're so old. A lot of these here. Here's one here that's in pieces, and they've put the, the top of it sitting beside it. There's a really interesting memorial it looks like an old tree stump but it's not it's actually a, a, a sculpture of some sort it's 
pretty cool. Uh, so I'm gonna wander around just a little bit more. While I do, uh, let's talk about the Boston Tea Party and why it was important. And uh, it was the last, uh, the last drop of gunpowder in the keg, <laughs> we'll say, that started the American Revolution. For a very long time, we didn't know who was who had participated, obviously, because they were wanted men. And uh, John Wyeth was one of those men, and he was the first person to speak out about it. He was living at Cincinnati at the time when he talked about being there, gave details about it, and it was published in a newspaper. And uh, it was the first time that anybody had come out publicly, and it was also the first documented point at which the phrase Boston Tea Party was used, and it was uh, kind of tongue-in-cheek because it wasn't really a party, <laughs> it wasn't a tea party, it was a party of, a uh, large party of individuals that were protesting. <laughs> um, some of them had dressed up as Native Americans to disguise their identities, but for a very long time it wasn't talked about and we didn't know who was there. But uh, it's not as well known as it is now. And John Wyeth, one of the individuals who was there and uh, gave his version of the story, which more or less turned out to be pretty accurate. Guys, real quick, I want to tell you, I put together a playlist for you guys. If you like this video, I have a playlist of all of my best lost and haunted cemetery videos. You can find a link to it right there. Go over there, click on that. Watch some of those. They're awesome videos, very similar to this. Uh, thanks for watching, and hey, I'll see you in that next video.